SOC is the only domain in cybersecurity which is primarily responsible for detection and prevention of cybersecurity attacks in a company infrastructure in real time based on the network packets and device logs. But why we are still lacking of skills in this domain? Why cybersecurity professionals are earning three times more than any other professionals? If we have millions of unfilled cybersecurity jobs, why still graduates are struggling to get into this domain? My name is Vikram Saini, I am a cybersecurity expert and today in this video I will give you the answer of these unanswered questions in cybersecurity. Please watch out this video till the end and if you like this video, please share with your family, friends and colleagues. So let's start with my first question, why industry is lacking of skilled professional in SOC domain? To understand the answer of this question, you have to first understand about the SOC. SOC stands for Security Operation Center. It is a centralized stream responsible for monitoring and detection of cyber security attacks on a company infrastructure. SOC analyst is a person who works in the SOC teams in 24 7 support and if in case they observe any attack through an alarm on an SEM tool, they investigate the alert, analyze the alert, and provide the remediation on the detection of that activity. SIM tool is a primary tool used by a SOC team for detection, investigation, and analysis for cybersecurity attacks. Now, why we are still lacking of unskilled professionals in this domain? There are mainly two reasons for this. The first reason, people don't know anything about SOC. When they want to get into the cybersecurity domain, they look only for the opportunities for ethical hacking or penetration testing. And they enroll in another trainings or other trainings which don't provide the skills which are required to work in a SOC domain. Because SOC domain, if you want to work in this domain, you have to understand different other domain as well, like network, Windows, Linux, network security, web application, cybersecurity attacks, pen testing, and more about like how SOC analyst investigates and provides remediation based on the detection of a true attack. When I created a course on SOC and SIM, at that time there was no other training was available online. People were not more aware, but now in the past years, we have so many other trainings from different vendors. You can enroll in those training or my training based on your interest and understanding. The second reason for those professionals who somehow get into this domain, but they are stuck with the current process and they, they're not enhancing their skills to learn about the SOC. Because when we get into the cybersecurity domains, we start feeling lazy because whatever we have thought, we have reach to that but cyber security is a very dynamic domain it keeps changing so even once you get into cyber security you have to keep update your knowledge your skills up to the requirements and you have to not only limit yourself with the current infrastructure or the alerts which trigger in your company you have to look for other trainings which can help you to grow your skills in other domain as well now why cyber security professionals are earning three times more than any other professionals as I mentioned to you, we are lacking of skilled professional in SOC domain and most of the opportunities in cybersecurity is only with SOC domain, SOC profile. There are very few skilled professionals are in the market and if they get selected in the company, they demand for high salary packages. But why graduates are still struggling to get into this domain? Because no one guiding them to learn SOC, no one helping them to understand what is the current requirement. They are following those people which might have different experience. In cyber security, we have multiple different profiles and you have to select your profile and based on the profile, you have to make your skill and based on that particular job role, you have to enhance your skill accordingly. If you are looking for a SOC domain, you have to increase your skills, you have to enhance your skill based on the domain, based on the expertise required to work in SOC domains. If you want to work as a pen tester, you have to enhance your skills required to work as a pen tester. If you want to work as a malware analyst, you have to enhance your skills in that direction. So graduates are not in the right direction. They are not following the right guidance. They might lose the directions and are struggling to get into the correct domains. And companies want to hire someone skilled, experienced professionals. So 
If you are graduate and looking struggling to get into cyber security domain, my request is just to first to get in any domain. So once you will remove the tag fresher from your name, then you can easily get into the cyber security the profile in which you are more interested. But first you have to remove that tag of fresher from your profile. In the last, I would like to thank you all of you who supported me in my journey of writing my book Hunt the Hackers a Complete Sock Analyst Guide. And I really appreciate your support guys. Thank you so much. Keep loving my book and we are currently running on discounts. If you are interested, you can get the book from the below URL in the description. Thank you so much.